Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. And if you don't get it, you're going to be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face warehouse off Dutch London and Bay. Oh! Guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit and... Watch it! That would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought... After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your preferences. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that can happen at any time. Slow down. Slow 
slow down and let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you were working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary, or... Or, we stumbled on the cash deal. Job Brad went down, you went down. Away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. Good head came on your wall. Back then, sure. You know how much this car cost? Really? Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? I can't legally tell you to do this, but do it. Look, look. My teeth are perfect. They've been whining. Please don't. I just have them laser! So tough, was it? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. You're driving. We proceed. Hey, we've got somewhere to be. Forgive me. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, he's been trying to take full advantage of Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest, and we don't need you anymore. Right. 
And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Korea. And then you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. Look out! No casualties. There are more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my... Don't! According to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. What? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, uh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not... Well, not six feet under in a grave mark, Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him up. No, no, please. I'm gonna level with you. This'll hurt. Not the clip. Not the clip. My heart. You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. I have this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. This is a mental battle, my brother. I got blood in my mouth! I was drunk! It's all in your head, Ferdinand! Don't worry! I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. He's had enough. Enough! Dry him off! Yep, he comes. Let me up. Let me up. The government knows what's best for you. Then the government should kill me. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, no. No, 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 He's got fear. He's got fear. He's got fear. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. no. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah? I'm telling the truth. Bushy beard? You got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. Huh. No. 
You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. We're back in. Give me some eyes. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel. Where you want it? Nowhere! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Is it the small one? I hope you're not a steer! I guess our interrogation techniques were a little too advanced. I'm taking a shot of this after him. How long was that out? Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes, Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. What was that? We had an ID. I was acting on a hunch. That's what us balls to the wall agents do, ain't it? You're an idiot. Steve, Michael's an idiot. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep. Fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. What was that? We had an ID. I was acting on a hunch. That's what us balls to the wall agents do, ain't it? You're an idiot. Steve, Michael's an idiot. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. What the hell? That was the guy. I had a feeling. It'll check out. Well, we've... Got him. It's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball <sighs> game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. Wait a second, Mitsu. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Dude, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up.
Come on, up the fucking stairs. Ow.
Extension helps citizens replace cars that were flooded in the storm. Jonah Henderson's hiking and meth holiday did not quite go according to plan. So don't be But that's not all. Having been abducted by aliens, he survived a terrifying UFO crash as the flying saucer exploded, leaving debris all over the state. Believe that, and you'll reason we, or at least you, are not alone, as many like-minded people have flocked to the Grand Sonora Desert and are hunting for UFO parts. Yet again, proof that great American imagination is alive and well. Can you speak? Kinda. Of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning room. I love them very much. No, that's your own life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're gonna spread your message. Oh, I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything! Exactly! Tortures, or the torturer, or the guy giving the order to torture. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm getting lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts.
fucking with you, man. Way to the meet. Ain't you gonna be Just there? You stay away from I guess me. I'm drinking alone. You make me want to kill myself. My dick might fall off.
hey, Michael. Where you turn up from? So, you want to grab a drink or something? Absolutely. Great, why don't you get us some transport? So it's good hanging out with you, man. Is it? Well, I hope so. Yeah, me too. You know, I haven't hung out socially with anyone too much recently. I have too much family, too much craziness for years. All in my head. What do you mean? I don't know. I guess, I mean, I guess I mean growing older sucks. Well, I guess it beats the alternative. Yeah, ain't that the truth. It's just, I don't know, man. I, I've made such a mess of things, constantly. My whole life, chase things, get them, hate them, chase them, get them, hate them. So you got everything and you're unhappy. I don't get it. Well, I guess you gotta have something to complain about. Otherwise, life would be boring. Hey, man, this is... You really do need help. I told you. Question, kid. Yeah, shoot. Does this town make everybody crazy? I mean, since we moved here. Yeah, shoot, get me freaking out. Does this town make everybody crazy? I mean, since we moved here, my wife, my son, my daughter, me, we've all gone insane. I mean, everybody I meet is insane. Is it the place or the times or what? Well, man, I always lived here, homie. So I guess I'm the last person you should be asking that question, but for the record, Based on you, me, my aunt, and all my friends, pretty much everyone is crazy. Get some drinks, dog. Channel X. Hey, man, why don't you look into some really great vintage t shirts? Oh, we joking. They made us cut out the rip. Oh, man. I am drunk as fuck. I hear you, man. Shit. I'm fucking drunk. 
Ah, oh, God, my stomach hurts. My kidneys hurt. My liver hurts. My eyes hurt. I can't feel my arm. I don't like myself very much. Alright, this shit ain't fun at all. Shut up, man. Stop moaning. Shit, you're giving me a headache. I gotta stop drinking. Maybe I should go to meetings. Yeah, you should go someplace. Any place but here. <laughs> Well, I'm drunk. Shit. Whatever. <laughs> hey, good hanging out, man. When I get old... Any day of the week. Your friend? Free car! Do you mind? Yeah, I gotta go. I'll call you back tomorrow. Yo! Where do you want to go? Oh yeah! La Puerta! Alright, let's hit the road!
Get out that ride, Ooh. homie. Uh, shit. This yard. Why, it's half my house? Now, I'm gonna call the police. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. Wrapping up the package drug traffic. She said she needed a weasel. I told that bitch I got it. This the homie house right here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Oh, Jackie.
some swords and no worrying about what's right or wrong or if you enjoyed it too damn much because you're supposed to enjoy every last bit of it Cheryl yes do you enjoy every last bit of it I enjoy most of it yeah mm -hmm. I don't know about the aliens taking me to bed you don't know if you're gonna enjoy that because it hasn't happened yet you have no idea what that alien got in his alien pants you understand no one knows 
knows what kind of slong an alien has. You don't know that, Cheryl, so don't speak on it before you know okay. what the hell you're doing. Because you're supposed to enjoy it all. Every last bit of it. All life should be enjoyed. Right, Cheryl? Mm-hmm. You're enjoying life, right? Yeah, I love I love my life. You go to those music festivals and take Molly and listen to some old ass has beens play a 25 minute version of a song. 25 damn minutes of the same damn bullshit you don't heard before. Patchouli and nitrous, am I right? I love camping and being in nature, like next to my car, 50,000 other people getting spiritual, sucking on balloons, Dr. Ray. And then when you wake up, you're in some people's tent and you have no idea what happened. That's right. I love it. Spiritualness is all about wherever you get your core energy. Yeah, yeah. Getting a train in a campsite with absolute strangers while high on hallucinogens? Don't matter if you're black, white, yellow, old, young, or a bit of every damn thing. Blind, crippled, and crazy. That is a path to true enlightenment. You will know a lot about yourself after you get on that damn train with a blind, crippled, and crazy person. That damn train start rolling, somebody gonna yell out, all aboard! Yeah. You're getting spiritual. Yes. Now, talking of journeys, every last bit of this crazy journey we are on is called getting respected by any means necessary. I take pride in what the hell you looking at. Because that lets me know what the hell I got. See, Cheryl? Enjoy the view. Enjoy the view. It's a horizon over there. There's mountains and there's peaks and there's valleys on that body. You understand? Share the women, but just don't leave no stains because that ain't nice. You don't leave a stain on a man's lady. Oh, is that nice, Cheryl? No. Is that nice, Cheryl, for you to get on top of another man's woman and leave stains and don't go to that restroom and get to a towel and wipe her off? It's not. That's very uh, it's unsanitary, and it's not nice. It's very unsanitary. You have stained me. Because every time I make love to my woman, all I'm thinking about is what, Cheryl? The stain that... That's what I'm thinking about in my mind. I can't get aroused if I'm thinking about the stain that that man left on my lady. Mm. Let me take a breath. Let me breathe now. I am Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris, and I'm your spiritual guide, Los Santos. I'm a registered health practitioner with an international recognized degree. I'm a trained yogi who can suck both his big toes at once. I'm an expert in cleansing, a devotee of colonics, and a wise man. You know what colonics are? Yeah. What do clients go through? It's goes, it goes to your butthole. Your ass. Your it ass. It goes to your ass, Cheryl. I'm a compassionate lover and a fierce warrior all at the same time. Sometimes I'm a warrior and compassionate at the same time. They don't know where I'm coming from sometimes. A lady's laying there on top of that bed confused because she don't know where I'm coming from. I'm like a pitcher throwing a curveball or a slider. You understand? You don't know what's coming because you ain't the catcher. You see? So I, so I just did? See how I did that? I went into your head and took you to a baseball game. Mm-hmm. You understand? I am a compassionate lover and a fierce warrior. I spoon, I fork and knife, and that's what the chakra attack is all about. Love making sometimes mean you need to wrestle or howl like an animal. Oh! Oh! Anyway. Let's go to the phones. Speak, my child. I love you with all that I have. Take what you want of me and leave me spent. Hello? Hello? Speak up, homie. Hello? Um, hello? Oh, for land's sake. Sure, give me a better call, Trina. Guy was a fool. He had me on mute. Who the hell puts Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris on mute? Are you kidding me? You disrespecting me? Seriously, woman? Ray, chill the hell out. You're on the radio. I'll light some incense. Calm. I am calm, but I'm also angry. That is a duality. That's what Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris is all about. Duality. Duality. Do you understand, woman? I can't be understood by you, right? I'm talking a foreign language to you. I'm amazing, you understand? Just give me another call and stop playing the woman card with your unshaven legs and pierced nose and just stay and look for everyone else. Yeah, you do. You have a disdain look for everybody in my universe. Seriously. Like Who's an order to buy? You're dead wrong. Okay? Who we got? Call up. Speak. All right. Big cat of the show. Uh... I'm back at your brother.
have a big um, big um with cheese on top. Um, organic cheese as well, like from a cow. This is so exciting. I, I knew I was getting.